In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the calendar templates from SpreadsheetClass.com. And there's a few different versions of the calendar template that you can pick from. So if you're not already on the page that has the links to the templates themselves, click the link that's in the description below. So when you click the link to the template, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this, where in the upper right hand corner, it has a blue button that says use template. And you simply click this button and Google Sheets will automatically make you your own copy of the template. So the examples that I'm using in this video are from 2021, but as time passes, you'll always be able to find the newest template for each new year. So first I'm going to show you the full size templates that have one month on each tab of the spreadsheet. And from the full size version, there's actually two different options that you can pick from. And what we're looking at here is the traditional calendar where there's one big box for each day that you can type in. And this is what you would normally expect when you go and buy a calendar from the store. But if you want, there's also a full sized calendar template that has multiple lines for each day so that you can easily enter multiple tasks or multiple scheduled events on the same day. And again, with these full size versions, there's one tab for each month. And so here we're looking at the January tab and then you can click February, March and so on until the end of the year. But again, on the page where you can find the template, I'll always keep this updated with the newest version for each year. So now we looked at the full size versions where there's one box for each day and where there's multiple lines for each day. But now I'm going to show you the miniature calendar, which has each month of the year on a single tab. And although on this very compact version, you can't record the individual events that are happening on each day, these mini calendars come in very handy for visualizing timeframes throughout the year and color coding different events as they pass through the months and throughout the year. And a lot of companies will use these type of calendars to show their staff members different types of events that are happening throughout the year. And so if you want, you can select a range of cells, such as Monday the 1st through Thursday the 4th of February, and then you can change the background color to indicate that there's an event going on during this time frame. And from there, you can provide people a list that tells them what type of events are represented by each color. So again, if you want to actually use these templates, click the link in the description below. And on that page, you can find the link to create your own copy of these calendar templates. Or if you want to check out more of my really useful Google Sheets templates, go to spreadsheetclass.com templates.